Day three. Day three? Day three. Day three. What, uh, can you pull up your weather app? Oh, yeah. Just so we can see. There are tunnels that we can use, but we don't think it goes to where we're going. Ready? <laughs> Johnny, why do we keep doing this to ourselves? Every day we think we're gonna be able to, to sleep in a little bit, and then every day the grind just takes over a little bit harder, and so, it, you know, you can't measure how much a person wants it. You just kind of see it, the results, and I think that's the best way to kind of encapsulate what we do here. How about this, Bill? Immaculate. Yeah? Yeah. Where are we going? Uh, going day three, we're going to talk some cornerbacks. Okay. Cooper DeGene. You can jump pretty high. He's pretty athletic. Yeah. You know, I just, I like the cut of his jib, you know? Can you, can you elaborate on that? He's a pro's pro, you know what I mean? What? He's not even a pro. Uh, Coupe du jour, a cornerback, uh, has met with the Cardinals, quote, a couple of times. Is he their CB1? Could he be available in the 20s with pick number two in the first round for Monty Austin for it? That's the big question. He's, you're giving him a big stamp of approval, the Johnny stamp. Yeah, he and I locked eyes when we were <laughs> Can discussing. Can you locking eyes with these prospects? Well, it just depends. Who, who is willing to make time for us, for me, for this show? That's who we prioritize. Those are guys that aren't going to bust. Take it to the Bay Area. How are you feeling, James? Good. Ask me again in about half an hour. Hello? I feel great. You can ask me right now. I feel great. Wow, I'm gonna wow, feel wow. great a half hour from now. Wow, wow, wow. Britain? I, uh... I always feel great, man. Even when I don't feel great, I feel great. <laughs> Come on, get him on camera. No, get no, no, I got camera. a face for radio, man. <laughs> face radio. For radio. What's up, man? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you as well. No, 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 that's for you. He left about 80% of his steak on his plate. Not true. After not he, true. He chopped it up like he was... 80%? Not, <laughs> not, that's not true. Are that's you not on true. a diet? I have been doing some diet. intermediate fasting. Are you going to have more mental clarity? I do, absolutely. <laughs> Especially right now as I look at you. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> it was a 14 ouncer. And and I finished at least two thirds. Right, thank you. Appreciate the time, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. You got it. Got a bit of a big fish here in the program. Just wrapped up 25 minutes. Head coach, Jonathan Gannett. I can't wait to spoil it on the show today for everybody. Uh, no, I'm not allowed to talk about it at all. Shane has sworn me to secrecy. I've been publicly and privately shamed, but I think it went pretty well. We had the uh, head ball coach laughing and having a good time. That's a testament to this team right here. And he heard your steak take and he's disappointed. I think I even talked about like intermittent fasting with him and now I feel really you uncomfortable. You did blackout, I think, at one point. I don't even remember what I yeah. said. But uh, I'll tell you this, if you think you like JG now, you're gonna love him even more after this interview. Clearly, at least the second best show we're gonna do out here. Because Friday is gonna be the best show. It is. It's we've saved the best for last. You guys know by this point what that is. And uh, it's a culmination of a lot of hard work by some great people. I'm what are you laughing at? <laughs> just gotta be happy to be here on the Johnny Venerable show. That's not okay. You know, that's Johnny not Venerable what I show said at all. and that's not company. what I said. <laughs> It's our show. It's my show. Everything's done. We're going over to the combine. We watch these guys work out. Chop Robinson already ran sub four or five. That's absurd. Not even better. Job, get me on the field. <laughs> Top 50, here I come. Get away from me. Top 50, here I come. <laughs> oh, good morning. For now the fourth consecutive day, I believe, we are up and out of here pre-7 a.m. Uh, what do you have to say about that? It's an incredible feat, uh, considering 7 a.m. is 5 a.m. Arizona time. I'm ready for the over. Two glasses of milk, please. Two glasses of milk, please. What's going on here? Uh, in about 40 minutes' time, it's time for Marvin in the morning with Johnny and Bo. 
everybody, it's Marvin in the morning. Joining you live from Indianapolis. Quick rundown on who's speaking at Podium 4, the gauntlet loop that's going to go on. So we're starting off with Jaden Daniels. Then we're going to hit Marvin Harrison Jr. Then Caleb Williams. Then Drake May. Is that or Drake May, then Caleb Williams. Yeah, and then Malik Neighbors, I believe. All five. All five. All five of the, of the GOATs. All five of the best players we got in this drop. Let's get after it. They're like big brothers to me, Brandon Ayuki and Rashad White. Marvin is not going to be speaking right here. I don't have any other updates. Our Marvin Harrison Jr. will not do his scheduled 8.20 a.m. media time. Damn. Uh, so breaking news, Marvin Harrison Jr. Uh, Harrison Jr. is not here. Uh, word on the street is he booked it, went home after he had his medicals done. We do know, Bo, uh, per sources, he did meet with the Cardinals and went well. But at the same time, disappointed we can't hear from the number one wideout. Yeah, it's a bummer you want to hear him speak, talk, maybe why he wanted to forego the you know, workouts. But he's gone. Next time we'll probably see him maybe hanging out at his pro day, probably not working out again. And then again, it's going to be draft night. What do you think about Marvin Harrison Jr. not showing up? I mean, slightly disappointed. I get it. I get the issue. You're the number one receiver in the draft. You don't. Your film speaks for itself. But I mean, there was probably 500 media people out there waiting at this table for you to speak. And it just doesn't show up. Final show on Radio Row. How are the vibes? Vibes are good. Immaculate. There we are. Hey, Johnny. Feeling great. Excited for everybody to see the debut of the Jonathan Gannon interview. We also have Trevor Sikama on the dock. It's the perfect way to cap off a damn near perfect week here in Indianapolis. No Marvin Harrison Jr., but we will soldier on. And you know the only thing that would have made this week better, why it's not perfect? Johnny can't finish his food. Oh, I ate my entire <laughs> dinner last night, and yet nobody talks night. about that today. <laughs> that hasn't been brought up night. one time. Whoops, 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 whoops. <laughs> Whoopsies. Personal boundaries. Uh, just wrapped the last show here in Indianapolis, the 2024 NFL oh, Combine. Have, you know, I was telling Britton Golden, Bo, well, we were here last year, and where we've come now, I think we'd be pretty damn proud of ourselves, don't you think? Yeah, we should all be uh, proud of the work that went on here. But uh, look, it's unreal what was accomplished. We talked to JG, he gave us crap. Yeah. He also, uh, I think, now is a friend of the program. Very, officially. very sincere uh, with it, and very, you know, supportive of what we're doing, which is great, and very generous with his time. And we're very thankful. All right. It was a blessing to be out here with these guys. I appreciate the invite. Look forward to many more. I'm the most proud of James for finishing his food last night. <laughs> he did. I did. It was very impressive. Here's the thing. Here's why that happened. I did not eat lunch yesterday. I typically don't eat breakfast. And so when we're here mm. at the venue, I eat all day. And then we get to dinner, I'm like, I, I, I think I'm hungry. And then I don't finish my food. So that's, that's, the, that's the gist of it. That's I the behind the scenes. Stomach. Damon Dog? Yeah, Clark man. Time. What's up? Clark. Look at that cutie. <laughs> He's wounded. He's wounded. Time to hit our flight. I am wounded. We'll see you next time. <laughs>